Hello friends, this video on getting to know plants part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Of a plant. So let us now look at the structure of a stamen and a pistil in little more detail. So let's start with stamen. So as I had mentioned before that this part is the stamen. Right? Now this part itself has many different parts. So the first part is the filament. So this green colored rod like structure which you see which is a stalk again. So this stalk is called the filament. The next part is the anther. So anther is this swollen structure at the top. So this is anther. And this anther is a bilobed structure. Bi means two. Two lobes. Two lobes in a way you can understand it in this way that there are two compartments within this structure. So it, the anther which looks like this, it is actually divided into two compartments, one and two. And each of these lobes has two pollen sacs. That means one lobe again is divided into two sacs. Again, this second lobe is divided into two sacs. So there, are, they, it is basically like four pockets inside the anther. And each of these sac or each of these pockets contains pollen grains. So that is the structure. So it seems to be a small circular thing, but actually it has four compartments and each of these compartments is called pollen sacs. And the pollen sac contains pollen grains. So when you look at the structure more closely, so this is how it looks like. This is the filament. This is the anther. So the anther has two lobes. This is lobe 1. This is lobe 2. So these are the two lobes. And the two lobes are connected together by a connective. So this pink colored structure which you see, that's the connective. So this is basically the front view. This is the back view. So you see the two lobes are connected with a tissue kind of structure and that is called the connective. Now when you look at the cross section of this anther, so it has four sacs, one, two, three, four and each of these sacs contain pollen grains and pollen grains are what we are interested in because pollen grains are the male gametes. So the pollen grains will fuse with the female gametes to produce the new plant. So that this, this is pretty much about the structure of a stamen. So stamen has a filament, anther and connective. Now let us look at the structure of a carpel. So when you look at the structure of carpel, this is how the carpel looks like. So this also has prominently three different parts. So one is this uh, tube-like structure. One is this oval shaped thing which is called the ovary. This tube-like structure is called style. And this topmost region is called stigma. So basically stigma is that region which receives the pollen grains. Now as I said that for reproduction to happen the pollen grains need to fuse with the egg. Now another interesting thing is that the pollen grains can move but the egg cannot move. So in that case the egg will remain here. So the egg is present inside the ovary. So egg is the female uh, sex cell. So the egg has to be present inside the carpel. So the egg is present inside the ovary. So now the pollen grains need to come inside the ovary. So stigma is that place which receives the pollen grains and then the pollen grains moves through the style and reaches the ovary. So that's So let us now look at the distinct parts of carpel or pistil. So as I said that ovary which is nothing but the basal enclosed part of carpel. So if you look at this entire carpel, so this entire thing is the female reproductive part of a flower. So when you look at this entire thing, you see that the bottom part or the basal part, which is the part which is located towards the base, that is quite swollen, spherical type of structure. So this enclosed basal part is the ovary. So this portion is ovary. This encloses ovule in it. And what are ovules? Ovules are nothing but the female gametes or the female sex cells. Now, as I had mentioned before, that for reproduction to take place, we expect the female sex cells to fuse with the male sex cells. So the female sex cell is ovule. So this ovule has to fuse with the pollen grains. And these ovules are present inside the ovary. So this is what you see inside is the ovule. So inside this, inside the ovary, you have the ovule. 
The next part is style. So style is a tube-like structure that connect ovary and stigma. So this portion is ovary and this topmost portion, this is stigma. So a tube-like structure connects these two parts. So this tube-like structure is the style. And what is the job of stigma? It is located at the exposed end of style. Now when you look at a flower, you are very able to see this part. But the ovary part you cannot see very distinctly from outside. Now only when you try to dissect the flower, you tear it and try to see the ovary, that's different. But otherwise from the top, the exposed part is the stigma. So what it does, it acts as a receptive surface for pollen grains. Now as I had mentioned before, that for reproduction to take place, pollen grains need to fuse with the ovule. Right? So how will the pollen grains meet the ovule? So ovule is something which cannot move. So ovule cannot move. So it is non-mobile or non-motile, whatever you call it. And the pollen grains need to move. So how the pollen grains move? So the pollen grains reach the surface of the stigma. Now once the pollen grains reaches here, then it passes through the style and finally reaches the ovary and that's how it comes in contact with the ovule because ovule is present inside the ovary. So that's how uh, the process of reproduction takes place in a flower and that is why flower is called the reproductive part of a plant. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.